I got the flow and I'm taking off. These niggas hating, I paid the cost. I'm from the six, so I get it in. These niggas hating, I'm do the friends. Pull up, I bet you won't do a thing. Dead silence when my present felt ain't nobody really fucking with me. Hey man, say man, welcome back to Live Free TV, man. man let's get it. Let's get it, man. Look, man. Um, so we back with a different type of video for y'all, man. Look. So somebody in the comments, a few people in the comments told us that we should check out this interview. You know what I'm saying? And not only did, did they tell us, but we was thinking the same thing. Because yeah. I'm not gonna say a lot of you, man. I've been wondering. This is the million dollar question. I'm pretty sure y'all been wondering as well. I know we have. But what made Busta Rhymes and Eminem get on the same song together? You know what was more intriguing to me? We got the fact of how they made it. Oh. How they made the song. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. The well, process into making the song. That's what this video is about. Huh? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Go, you go upstairs and get some water. All right, so look, I, but that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, I want, I want to know this, bro. Listen, you know what I'm saying? I want to know this. Me too, man. And, and and and, bro, we're not gonna waste no time. We're gonna jump right into it. It's a nine minute video. You feel what I'm saying? But before we go any further, y'all know how we coming, man. man. We coming at y'all with some light, light, some slight light. light you yeah, feel me? So look, we are gonna jump right into this because I'm. I, I, this, this is very intriguing. You feel what I'm saying? It's yeah. very intriguing. We got clear around. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's very intriguing, man. It just know the process that they, that it took mm -hmm. to do it. But look, man, if you're new to the channel, man, please make sure you subscribe and turn that post notification bell on, man. Let's get it. And, right. and that's why even when when I hear "Calm Down," that's one of those where it's like, like I don't know what the battle was between you and Eminem. Scoop Deville is in the neighborhood, also, man. Scoop, yeah. you produced this one. Yeah, man. And Scoop played it for me a while ago. And I told him, I said, Scoop, I said, I need to jump on this song, too. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, Big Boy said, Big boy said fuck that, I need to jump on this shit, too. Scoop, I said, I need to jump on this song, too. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, lyrically, you can't handle it. Yeah. <laughs> and I understood him then, and I thank you for being honest with me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but how does a song with Eminem and Busta Rhymes come together? Because there's absolutely no gimmick to you guys. When y'all want to go and do that pen, y'all ink runneth over. How did that come about? So, Scoop, I meet Scoop through Macho from mm -hmm. Terror Squad because Scoop did a joint for Fat Joe. Mm -hmm. I get a 3 a.m. phone call from him. You take that call, huh? I didn't get it because I was asleep. Oh, and I, okay. I wake up to it. What you doing? Sleep at three in the morning? No, come on. <laughs> I, wake, I wake up. I wake up and it's like, man, this. He's like, yo, this record is crazy that you did for Joe, and we got to get in. Like, happy New Year! Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, yeah I, mean, I, I was. I was. I put the APB out on him because yeah, I heard the joke. The Joe record. I called Macho immediately. I like whoever did this beat. I got to speak to him. That's dope. And you did work but for. That, that, but that ring is that, that ring, ring is, bro. It's awesome uh, yeah man what Kendrick also yep so definitely there's a connection here definitely. and then the I want a rock record with Snoop oh. that just had me stupid like I just was like I can't understand how he keep doing it the this impact way. of that record and everywhere worldwide and on the east coast a lot of people just had you know they they really loved it so mm -hmm. everybody rapped on it it, that that record alone just had everybody buzzing off of what I was doing at the time, and then Joe hit me, and then after that bus, man. So so when he it, when he gave me the beat, I was actually coming to see him to do a remix verse for I Wanna Rock. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. mm. that's how it happened. So then mm. he plays the beat. And I said, I want to rock remix can't happen now. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get to this record. Straight up. So I get to the record. I made the record, two 16-bar verses in a hook. The song is three minutes and eight seconds. We sitting on the record for some time. Mm -hmm. And then um, the opportunity came for me to meet with Paul, Rose Paul Rosenberg. This is the last meeting I mm -hmm. had with Chris Lighty before he passed away. Rest God bless peace. his soul. Yes, sir. Mm. We go to Goliath. We meet with Paul. We play it for Paul. Paul takes the CD. We don't hear from Paul for about a month. Six <laughs> weeks go by. I'm confused. I'm like, this is the stupidest record. Yeah, man. Where's this? Where's the correspondence at? So Riggs Morales over at Atlantic mm -hmm. 
was at Shady at the time. So Shaheem Reed calls Riggs and tells Riggs, come by the studio and hear this record. <clears throat> Riggs comes by the studio. Riggs hears the record. Riggs is blown away. Riggs go back to the office two weeks later. Paul gives me a phone call. So we had two months now. Mm. We got two months. Damn. But two weeks after Riggs came, <laughs> we got the call that Em is going to do it. Oh. So now I'm like, all right, we good. So were you going for Eminem at the time? Yeah, because oh, okay. I stepped to Paul to play it for Eminem. Oh. But I don't know what happened after oh, we dude. gave it to Paul because nothing happened. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. Damn. Yeah, it's, it's getting deep, bro. It's getting deep already. Good night. That is generally my fault, but, uh, 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 you know, I fault. But good night, man. Good night. Took two weeks. Well, really two months. But after, uh, uh, want to say after, uh, uh, Paul had heard it, it didn't take two weeks for him to hear it. That took two weeks for Eminem to hear Yeah. Hear it. After Paul heard it. I thought a month went by. No, it was just only two. I, no, I think it said Riggs. Riggs, I mean Riggs. Oh, two, Riggs, two, two after, weeks. But Riggs made Heard it there. It? Yeah. Yeah. Riggs made it there. Then it took uh, uh, two weeks. And then got that call back like, yeah. Like M said he going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Good. So were you going for Eminem at the time? Yeah, because oh, okay. I stepped to Paul to play it for M. Oh. But I don't know what happened after we gave it to Paul because nothing happened. Oh. It's just like six weeks went by with no correspondence. So then when Shaheen called Riggs to come through and I played it for Riggs, two weeks later, we got the call from Paul that M is going to go. Mm. So then M gets the record and a few months goes by. Oh. Then we finally get the call from Paul. I'm coming through to play you something. So Paul comes to the studio and he plays the M verse. And I got the song in a regular format structure for a radio station. Mm -hmm. oh. Three minutes, eight seconds. But yes, M sir. gets on the third verse and does 42 bars. Yes. <laughs> I got a problem with this. <laughs> <laughs> in, in typical oh, M fashion. Oh man! In typical M fashion, bro. Forty-two bars. <laughs> Good. Yeah, that's just an overkill, dude. Oh man, that's overkill for real, bro. <laughs> and does forty-two bars. <laughs> I got a problem with this. Talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about it. Talk about so, it. So, so for me, you know. Not in my house. Yeah, this, 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 <laughs> yeah. No, no, this, this ain't gonna work. Yeah, man. And, and, and I'm such an M fan, right? That I'm not even thinking about the consumer yet. I'm thinking about him. I'm like, I'm not gonna disappoint him and let him think that what's happening here is gonna be this easy. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be some challenge now. Mm -hmm. So I go back and I turn my two sixteens. I scrapped that and, and turned it, my, my verse into a 50-bar verse. Go ahead now. Yes, so now me and M scheduled the day to mix the song. But I left the hard drive <laughs> in L.A. This is around Grammy time. Uh-huh. So I'm in New York. Wait, are we talking about Grammys like that, last year? Yeah, last year Grammys. 13. Yeah. Damn. So, mm -hmm. so. Um, <laughs> Ain't no overnight. We were supposed to mix the record around... A little bit after that, I would say like middle of March or whatever, and I left the hard drive in the crib out here. I get to New York, I get the date to come to Detroit to mix the record, but M want me to send the verse. I couldn't send it because I had to get the drive. So I'm like, yo, I'm going to go to L.A., get the drive, and then come to meet you in Detroit. I get to Detroit, it's a snowstorm, we out there, we in the studio with M, two, three hours, M in the studio vibing. Then he started adding a couple of things to the beat. Mm -hmm. So I hollered at Scoop. I was like, yo, M going in on some production <laughs> too. Like he added some more things here and there. <laughs> oh, Eminem was savage, boy. Oh, man. Eminem was savage, so you bro. Cool with that? Because, you know, I don't want you to hear something happening with your production that you ain't in tune with. 
He was like, nah, just send it to me, let me hear it. You know, Emma's a producer, I'm a producer. Mm -hmm. Whatever. If it's going to bring the best out of the record, let's do it. I'm like, cool. So about five, six hours passed by, and, you know, Em heard the verse, and Em was like, he's a crazy motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he's a motherfucker. He's a motherfucker. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, we going to mix the record? <laughs> nah, we ain't mixing the record. <laughs> yes. I'm like, damn, I'm in the D, snow blizzard, <laughs> hotel expenses, airfare. Yeah. <laughs> Car service, <laughs> we not mixing today? <laughs> nah, man. I got to make this little adjustment because I feel like my energy ain't matching yours yet. <laughs> oh, that, wow. Boy, right. that's Eminem yeah, all like, day long, bro. He critiquing his music. He critiquing himself. Like, mm -hmm. hey, my energy not matching you, Buster. Look, give me a little more time, goddamn. Let mm -hmm. me go back and goddamn revamp my shit. Adjustment because <laughs> I feel like my energy ain't matching yours yet. Oh, wow. All right, cool. I leave the, the studio. I'm, I'm excited now. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm, we pushing this envelope now. I'm, I'm want to go back and change some. I had to change some. Mm -hmm. So I get back to New York and I'm just waiting. About another month pass by. Jesus Christ. Dad. I get the verse back. Hold on, is the record <laughs> done now? Yeah. <laughs> I want to play it. You know what I'm saying? Your kids weren't born when this time. Yeah. He was like, it's a whole year. I said, he's born. <laughs> born. <laughs> long story short, B, we got the f <laughs> All right, so you in the deep? No, nah, we in the, no. So, so I go home, and then he's, you know, after about a month, a month and a half, he sends the verse back, and you know, I played it for the immediate circle, and everybody was like, "Yo, this is it. No more going back and forth. We gotta get this to the people." <laughs> yeah. So it's time to mix the record now, right? Uh huh. And M, you know, M got his rules like. He mixes his own records. He ain't sending his verses around. Ain't nobody gonna have no acapellas to be putting mm -hmm. no new beats under the verse and doing new concoctions. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. So M mixed the song, mastered the record. The mix turned out incredibly slap. Yeah. Powerful. Mm -hmm. Boom bapish, the uh -huh. way we love it. Mm hmm And we sat on the record. Yes. Again for a few months. <laughs> because for me, I didn't want this eventful moment to just be something that was some sh we just fling in the street. Yeah, man. It ain't sticking against the wall. It ain't no plan. It ain't no campaign. It ain't no marketing strategy. It ain't no real right way to roll it out. So once we got that together, M was on board. All the artwork got approved by everybody. The trailer got approved by everybody. Everything had to get mutually so it's approved official. on. official. Official, official. Now we here. Best then, better now. Available at Robert Wayne Footwear. Web publishing is a tough business. You're always juggling between creating content, yes. growing traffic, and hey. hey, hey, that was that. That was some good insight on that, though. Yeah, everything Buster said, just like typical M, bro. Yeah, that's yeah. That lets you know that he was not lying. You mm -mm. know what I mean? That lets you know that he was not lying. He right. Was, and 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 it lets you also know that man, him, M, M, no. He's a great lyricist, yeah. a great artist. You yeah. see me? But even he will check himself. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? He, he, to, he, to, to, to to get better. You know what I mean? Right. Like if he if he if if he feel in any way, shape, form, or fashion that you didn't that you didn't that you didn't outmatch his energy. You heard what Buster said, but he about to come with it. Yeah, he about to come with it. But he about to come with this it. This is how he couldn't even argue with him when he said, "Hey, man, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta revamp some shit." Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Buster, like at that point, like, shit, all right, yeah, cool, shit, fuck it, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go back and I'm finna, I'm finna revamp my shit too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But that's real, man. You feel what I'm saying? That's real, bro. And I'm glad we got the insight on that song because. I ain't know it took damn near almost a year for that song to come out, bro. But I know it doesn't surprise me though because we all know M to be very busy, right? Yeah, he do. M M M M be M is very, M is a very busy man. You know uh -huh. what I mean? And I'm pretty sure Buster is too. You yeah. know what I mean? So so they, at least they found the time to, to make mean, to make the song. Yeah, bro. they found they, they found the time. You know what I mean? To do the song in between time, handling other shit. You uh -huh. know what I mean? Uh -huh. So you know that's that's that's. 
That's tough, Deckard. When you in that life there, bro, you got to learn how to multitask. You mm-hmm. a boss. You know what I mean? You got to learn how to multitask. You got to do different, all type of shit all at the same damn time. Yes, sir. That shit, that nerve wrecking. It is. I know that's nerve wrecking. Yeah, what? And then Eminem doing his own production and all this shit. Yeah. That's hard. Bro, bro that's hard. That's, that's hard as fuck, bro. Own product, man. That, think own about production, it. mixing, mastering and shit. But that's why he got a check. Yeah, sir. Yes, sir. Fucking right. That's why he got a check. Man, mm-hmm. man doing everything on his own, man. Mm-hmm. Shit. But I love, I, but I would love for Eminem to mix one of my songs. Man, what? Huh? I love you on the track with Eminem. Fuck. You ain't got to mix it. If you want to mix it, cool. Go right on ahead. Mm-hmm. You gonna, if you're if you on the track, if you're on the track, man, get you your bring, music. Bro, you get on the track with Eminem, though, bro. You got to bring that crazy energy. Man, what? I'm, I'm got to bring I'm that bring crazy energy. energy. Hey, listen, man. Y'all go check us out, man. Y'all go check us out, yeah, man. Yeah, go check some music out there, man. Hey. That's just this just this is just the first chapter. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? The, the the story just begun. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So y'all y'all stay tuned for that, man. But look, if you're new to the channel, man, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe, man, yes, and turn that post notification bell on, man, to get notified every single time that we Keep upload, man. It up, y'all know man. the motto, man. The grind ain't stopping. You feel what I'm saying? We on the road to that 10k, man. And, Break uh, music. We're gonna get there with y'all, man. They you know it. what I'm saying? So uh. Shout out to everybody that's been coming through the channel showing love as well, man. Yes, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I guess we'll see y'all in the next reaction, man. Peace. On God, I got the flow and I'm taking off. These niggas hating, I paid the cost. I'm from the six, so I get it in. These niggas hating, I'm do the friends. Pull up, I bet you won't do a thing. Dead silence when my present felt.